Hello, I'm Gaia Vicky. I am a veterinary pathologist working for the veterinary laboratory BSA Milano, Italy. I am the corresponding author of the case report co-current Ecus caballus papillomavirus type 2 related papillomas and cutaneous habronemiasis. This study is about a two-year-old female, Pura Razza Espanola horse. She was born and raised in Sicily, Italy, where she was referred in June 2017 for a dermatological evaluation because of the presence of cutaneous, multifocal, nodular and warty lesions on the skin of her face. The lesions developed over approximately three months, but worsened rapidly in the last days before the consultation. By increasing in thickness and causing ulceration of the periocular skin. An excisional surgery was performed and ivermectin was administered systemically as a larvicide and topically applied for 10 days. The surgery was curative, without any local recurrence of lesions during a three-year follow-up period. The lesions after the excision were submitted for histology, and cutaneous viral papillomas with concomitant severe focal eosinophilic dermatitis with intralesional abronematide nematode larvae were seen. Immunist chemistry revealed papilloma viral capsid protein L1 in the epidermal proliferative lesions, confirming the presence of a productive infection. PCR confirmed the presence of Ecus caballus papilloma virus type 2. This study showed that the Ecus caballus papilloma virus type 2 related papillomas and cutaneous abronemiasis can coexist, and this coexistence has not yet reported to date. So, this case reports clinical relevance lies in underlining that Ecus caballus papilloma virus type 2 related cutaneous or mucocutaneous lesions can undergo worsening in case of co-occurrence of habronemiasis. So, we suggest reporting other cases in which these two conditions occur concomitantly better to understand the connection between the two pathological entities. Thank you for watching.